And in the studio with me is the founder and executive director of the Benjamin Oluo Jebutu Foundation, Dr. Benjamin Oluo Jebutu. Thank you very much for joining us, doctor. Thank you for having me. Now, I just, I just wanted to tell you, um, what moved you to offer a, a free surgery? So I had an accident two and a half years ago while I was on my way to, 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 to the house after being from office. And this drunken dog ran into my car and crushed my leg and broke my right leg in three places. Oh, wow. I was rushed to, to a teaching hospital in Lagos, but I was left on the floor for about three and a half hours. Nobody attended to me. So, you know, in that, in that pain and quagmire, I had, a, I had a very clear inspiration in my spirit that I must turn my pain into passion to help poor people all over Nigeria and Africa, taking up their problems and helping them for, because uh, for me, love was missing. And for you to have left the doctor on the, on, on, on the floor for four, for four hours and not attend to him, that's a problem about love. So for us, it's about changing the health case with using love and compassion as the bane. That's what we're doing. What we're doing. It's pretty sad that you were a doctor when that happened to you, yes. and you were left unattended to yes, for four hours. Yes. The plight of so many Nigerians yes. in the hospital. So, so I felt it myself. Too. So, so, so it, became, it became a big burden for me to take love. Because if there was love, for me, it's about love and compassion. You can't see somebody that is just in pain, in, in bleeding his legs, and just leave him that way. That's not, that's not the way the, the profession really is, the medical profession. It's about love, it's about nobility. So for us, we're trying to just um, 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 get into that space and use love and compassion to change the healthcare space. That's why we're doing our free surgery programs all over, all over Nigeria and Africa. Now, which brings me to a very, very pertinent question away from this um, documentary. Uh, the, the, there's a law that if somebody is brought into the hospital with bullet shot, not, it shouldn't be attended to until there is a police report. No, that's, that, that has changed now. Mm -hmm. So everybody, that has changed. Well, before, before it was, you must have a police report before, yes. but now it's an emergency. You must treat the patient before you get a police report, very importantly. Okay. How did you meet Moyo? So Moyo was, um, Moyo, we had, we had the project um, in Ijede, Korodu, what, 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 what we're doing, um, 100 free surgeries for the first 100 days in office of His Excellency Jida Sanwolu um, in, in office last year. And Moyo came, in, Moyo came into the place as one of the patients that wanted free surgery. You know, shout out to Moyo for five years. But our, our, our surgeries cover fibroids for women, breast lumps, lipomas, and um, onions for men. So it's basically, rural, rural, we go to rural areas. But Moyo had this ameloblastoma in her jaw, and her story just touched me, because it, it, it's not part of our scheme. But when she said that she had that job for five years and she needed help to do the surgery, and she went to a man that asked her, that, that a man told her that she, he would help her do the surgery, but the man wanted to sleep with her. In that condition? In that condition, that broke me. Benny, that just broke me. I started crying. That how can a man even get an, get an emotion, seeing that, seeing that kind of person, that kind of jaw? What, 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 what can you decipher in your mind? It was, it was just alarming for me. So I said, we're going to take up a surgery because just to change that, change that life. I give her, imagine somebody that's not eating food for five years. She takes only liquid, water, pop, and tea for five good years. That's killing. Now, you've been in the business of saving lives and also offering free surgeries yes. for years. I, I just want to ask, is this self-funded? Do you get support from anywhere? You know, it's not a culture to give in Nigeria. So um, I, I run a practice, a hospital. So 80% of, of, my, of my income goes into the foundation. Basically, right now, it's, it's, it's funded by me and my friends and my family. But we, we, because of what we're doing, we're getting a lot of, a lot of um, traction. People are now seeing it and, and asking us to come and help and support us. We believe, we believe that we're going to get more support going forward because we're doing more. We've done over 2,500 free surgeries in 12 states in Nigeria already. That's great last to know. Year. Yes, we've done that. So we believe that with the numbers and the impact and the space we're covering, we'll get more support going forward. Now, we did see during the documentary that she was at some point referred to being called names, even things like mama cancer. Yes. Is, is, there, is there such a thing as social stigmatization of, of cancer patients in Nigeria? Yes, there is. There is. Because, um, because it, so the cancers you can see, the stigma, but the ones you cannot see, yes. people don't you know the, the, the chloroactor cancer, they cannot see it, they don't have a lot of stigma. But if you can see the tumors, the big ones, you know, the, the, the ones on the air, the ones on the, the ones on the bone, they call you names, they call their names now. So the transformation for her was, 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 was life-saving. 
our daughter, our family, you know, things just change for her. So it's important that we begin to tell people, give people hope. Hope. Hope, hope is important for us in Nigeria that, okay, you can get up in our foundation if truly you need help. Now, how is she currently, and does she still have more surgeries to go through? No, she's, she's, she's doing well now. We, we, so the tumor was taken out. She has, a, she has a plate now. Is she cancer-free? She's cancer-free, yes. It was, so another thing, that tumor was benign, it was a benign tumor. Okay, it not malignant. Not malignant okay. at all. So she, so they took it out, and see, it's, it's, it's amyloblast tumor. Most times, if you have it, if, if, you, have, if, you, have, if you have it less than five, less than five years, it's just basically benign. Okay. Now, I'm just going to ask you quickly, if you will, I mean, what were your high and low points doing dealing with Moyo? She, she, bled, she bled a lot, so I, I, I was worried about losing her life because it was a very, very bleeding surgery. But, you know, we just kept faith. And, and after the surgery, she had, a, she, had a, she, had a, she had a critical cartilage intubation in her throat to, 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 to drain out, the, and she couldn't she could talk for a couple of days until, until the thing was brought out. But I saw her from when she was, she, she, when she was recovering, and I, and I realized that when she became better, I, I, was, I was very, very joyful. All right, Doctor, um, what do you hope to, to, this will achieve, um, given like that there, there are other moyos out there? I mean. So, that is hope. You should um, seek for help on time. It's important. Don't wait until on, on the, on, on the tumor is too big. Uh, go, go, go see a doctor quickly. Moya was going to herbal medicines, going to go, 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 going, taking out to places. They didn't know it was a tumor. They thought it was just um, a family, a family ordeal, that kind of thing. So it's important people seek help on time so the tumors don't get this big. Quickly, just before you go, signs people could check out for to, to check themselves for, for tumors, for cancers, simple tests, routines we can carry every now and then. Unexplained fever. If you have fevers, unexplained fevers, yeah, very, very, very lethargic, very, very weak. You walk distances, you get very weak, you get very tired, pains, generalized pains in your body, malay, you feel very, very tired, very weak, very, very moody, you know, and basically unexplained fever for a long time. You've treated malaria, it's not going, treated effort is not going, those fevers can be pointers to, to, to a cancer. Dr. Benjamin Lowe, thank you very much for joining us and for shedding more lights on this. Thank you for having me.